Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a viewers project and they've contacted me regarding parametric wall art. So this is one of the images they sent over to me and Fabian who sent this over to me has already started on this and made pretty good progress. So what we're going to do is have a look at Fabian's file to see how they've done this and also offer up some tips in there. There's a few things that you'll see in the project where we've got some glitching in the model where it's been cut and we're going to look at how we get around that also we're going to look at how the project has been constructed to create this parametric wall art if you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel then you can do so via ko-fi or coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash m-a-n-g zero or via paypal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash darren b e stone I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. So I've downloaded Fabian's file from the email, and you can see it's 113 megabytes in size. So it's quite big. And here it is opened up in front of us. And let's go full screen view full screen and we can see the model within so it looks really cool so we've got these ridges and it creates this wave effect and you can see the problems that we got behind in here these artifacts here and we can see if we can clean these up and also look at how this is created so fabian has used something called a golden surface which is part of the curves workbench so we need that installed, that's installed from tools, add-on manager, and we can get that from there. So that's work backwards. So the main body is this cut. So this is the finished body. So when I tend to look at these, I open up the cut and see what's inside here. And what I'll do is actually hide the cut and bring back the extrude by pressing the space bar. So we've got the extrude there. You can see where the cut has been taken away from here we've got an extrude in here that's been cut away and we've got another extrude here so let's hide this extrude and just work our way down to the original extrude this one here which extrudes this which looks like if I click on the bottom you can see the differences between those and it extrudes this forwards so we've got those there and then we've got this body which is the block that's being taken away from this. So what I'm going to do is just come in and delete that body. So I'm going to start with the cut because the body is underneath the cut and I'm going to hit delete. That will free up the extrudes and the body. And we've got the pad in there. So this is from the sketch. So this is just removing that top there. Let's have a look, see how this is built. So I'm gonna hide that body. And we've got this here. So this is part of this extrude. So open this up. Inside the extrude, we've got one extrude. Let's hide the other extrude. Inside that, we've got a CS, an underscore CS. So if you haven't seen what this is before, I press the space bar on that and hide the extrude. This, is a cross section and you can see that it's a number of curves and this is available from the part so we come into the part we've got this icon here which creates a cross section so if i create a cube we can actually section that up and we get these outlines of the surface so what I can see straight away from here is this has been created on a surface. So the golden surface where this has come from, so you can see we just got a label golden underscore CS. It's not parametric, unfortunately. So this golden surface, you can see, well, it's part of this extrude. So let's hide these two because they're the same golden surface, which can be a bit confusing sometimes and bring back the original. So this is the original golden surface here. So this has been created in the Curves Workbench. If I come into the Golden Surface, you can see all of the sketches and all of the curves this has been created by. So let's hide that, 
pressing the space bar and click on these and highlight them all going all the way down to here and press the space bar. So there we have a network of curves. So it's really a wireframe that's been made up off the surface. Each of these are editable. So if I double click, we can edit these and move them about, which makes them parametric. And we can actually control those manually by moving these, these points, or dynamically through code. Let's double click on that. And what will happen, that will apply to everything underneath. And you can see it working away on the golden surface here. So we have this network of curves. And if I bring back the golden surface, you can see what happens. So when we create the golden surface, it follows those curves and creates a surface against those. So what Fabian has done is run cross sections across that and extruded those cross sections. So here's the cross sections and they've been extruded like so, and then extruded this way. So one tip I can give around this, I mean, it's a brilliant project, but we can reduce the amount of operations on this and make this a lot quicker. So I'm going to delete a come in. We've got this body here from we So let's click on the body and press the space bar. We've got that one there. Let's delete that body. Just hit delete. And we've got the cross sections and the extrude. So I'm going to come down to this extrude. And actually, I'm going to take it right back to the golden surface. So let's bring back the body because I want the sketch in there. So in here we have a sketch and a pad. So I'm just going to leave that there because I want to make sure I get the right size for this. And what we're going to do is use a split apart in here. And that's get rid of the extrude. Hit delete on that. Let's release that extrude from there. And I'm going to hide the body to stop that flashing. Press the space bar on that. The golden surface, well, we're just going to shrink that up. And we're going to bring back this extrude. Press the space bar on there. Delete the extrude within. Well, that's first delete the top object. Let's delete that extrude and delete the extrude underneath. So we're back. So the golden surface, the golden CS, I'm going to rebuild that. Let's hit delete on that. And we have this object here. Now, if we look at the pad, we have a sketch in here. Let's bring back the body now and hide the pad. So this sketch is built this way and is used to cut out the bottom when these are extruded up. So I've got my sketch here. Now the pad length is 400. So I'm going to take this sketch and release it from the body. That's delete the pad. And if I delete that body, the sketch is going to go. So control Z that. And let's take that sketch and drop it on to the top level project. So it's out of there. So the pad is 400. Let's delete that body. What I'm going to do is take that sketch and extrude that in the part workbench this time. I'm going to go shorter, so I'm going to go 390. It's gone the wrong way, so come back in, length forward, length reverse. Let's try minus 390. There we go. So that's in there. What I'm looking for is some of the golden surface to appear outside of here. So it's got to appear outside of this side and all the other sides around this extrude. So I'm going to come into the sketch, double click the sketch, and I'm going to adjust the sketch. And we can place that, actually just pass that line like so, and the same on this side. So you can see this should sit outside of the extrude. And close that. So we've got that outside the extrude. And the only thing that I want to do now is take the extrude and make sure that it comes out this side as well. So giving it a bit of breathing room in there. Let's hit OK. Now the reason why I've done this 
is we're going to split this apart using this as a cutting tool. First select the extrude, control select the Gordon surface, so the one we want to keep, and the one we want to use as the cutting tool, cut apart, split, slice apart. So what we have now is an exploded slice. We can still see the skeleton of that Gordon surface in there, and that's because I came in and look inside here, inside the Gordon surface, I've still got these showing. We're gonna highlight all of these. Shift click and press the space bar. If we look, we've got this edge that runs all the way around here. And if I click and press the space bar, we have just moved the top of that. So we've used the golden surface to split this apart. And we can decide which one we want. We may want the bottom, we may want the top. So I'm gonna take the top. And now what I can do is use the cross sections against this. And that allows me just to do one extrude. So we take this slice, which is this one here. That's just shrink these up. So slice one, which is here. And click on the cross section or part cross sections. The guiding plane we want on the XZ plane. It's this one here. Click sections on both sides. That means that when we increase this, We'll place sections across both sides. And that's increased this to say 40. I'm not sure how many the original was, but we'll go for that for the time being. If I hit OK now, what happens? It will recompute, we can see it down in the bottom. And it looks like it's drawn a number of lines across here. But if we look over the left hand side, we've got this sliced child. Let's hide the slice. This one here, press the space bar. And we can see all of those there. So we've got our cross sections. This is a compound object. Each of these in here, each of these slices, if I exploded this compound object, we will get individual slices. What that means is that I can take this cross sections, come up to part, compound, explode compound, We've now exploded this into individual slices. So if we've got the individual slices, we can extrude these. To do that, we select them all by clicking one at the top, coming down to the bottom one within that group. Shift, select the last one and click on the extrude. We're going along the Y plane this way. So we need to select a custom direction of Y. And that's go for three millimeters and hit OK. This will start working. And what we've done is extruded that by three millimeters. If we look to the left and scroll down, we have the individual extrudes in here. Let's save this now. So I'm going to come up to file save as and we'll mark this as underscore two let's see if this has changed the file size file open and you can see already 3.78 megabytes so this has seen to drop that file size by a substantial amount so we have the individual extrudes and now we can take this and 3D print it or expelt out these individual extrudes to a CAM process to CNC this. So I think what I'll do now is in a follow-up video, we'll create this from scratch. As you can see, Fabian has put a lot of work into this, but there's still some unanswered questions in there. One is how do we export this out for such things as CNC or laser cut? And there's something called a nesting process and there is nesting available in FreeCAD. But we're going to have to deal with putting these all on the same plane, etc. We may have to write a script, but we'll figure that out in a future video. Hope you enjoy that video.
and I hope to see you again in the next one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.